Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and in this video of Power BI interview questions and answer series, we are going to discuss about what is query folding in Power BI. So most of the time uh, this question is asked in Power BI interviews about the query folding. So we are going to discuss that in details in this video. We will discuss what is query folding and why it is important when it comes to modeling in Power BI. Also, we are going to discuss which kind of data sources support query folding and which doesn't and how can you enable or see this query folding in Power BI. So let's get started. All right, guys. So before we actually go ahead and jump on a Power BI report and explore query folding in Power BI file, let's first understand what is query folding and how it works. So if I explain it in a simple word, whenever we import a data in Power BI report and do multiple transformations, uh, like we are importing data from SQL and maybe for example, a renaming a column, doing some joins, changing data types, or maybe we are performing n number of transactions in Power Query. So till the time Power Query is able to conclude all of the transactions that we are doing in Power Query in a single select statement that will be recorded in uh, Power BI and that will be recorded and that is something called a query folding. Right. So in nutshell, query folding is an ability of Power Query to generate a single query statement to retrieve and transform source data. Right. So again, I'll reiterate. So till the time Power Query is able to conclude all of the transformations that we have done in a single select statement, only till that time Power like this query folding will work and on a situation where we have performed multiple calculations um, and Power Query is not able to conclude everything in a single select statement, query folding option will be disabled automatically. Now, it doesn't mean that uh, any complex, uh, we are doing any complex calculations and we, that query folding won't work. It doesn't work like that. So a single select statement can conclude like where clause, group by, joins, or even complex calculations, common built-in functions supported by SQL as well. So when we will do kind of transactions which are not related to each other or cannot be sequentially created in a single select statement, only that situation that query folding option will be disabled. All right, so now let's talk about supporting data sources. So almost all of the data source, uh, all of the data you know, sources which have a concept of query language, they support query folding. Now these data sources can include relational data, or data feeds, exchange and active directories. However, uh, data sources like flat files, blob or web typically do not support. All right, so again, I'll reiterate what is query folding? Query folding is nothing but the ability of Power Query to generate a single query statement to retrieve and transform a data source. All right, now uh, let's talk about why query folding is very important when it comes to data modeling in a Power BI. So there are three important factors when it comes to query folding. Uh, if you talk about in you know in prospect of import a data model table so data refresh will take place very efficiently for import model tables because you know power pivot or power bi desktop in terms of a resource utilization and a refresh duration now why it is happening i'll explain it you know just in a second Similarly, in case of a direct query in a dual storage mode, now when it comes to dual storage mode, for example, we have few tables in direct query and few tables in uh, import mode, kind of in a hybrid mode. Now in that situation also, 
each direct query and a dual storage mode table must be based on the power query that can be folded right now when it comes to incremental refresh incremental refresh will also be very efficient if query folding has happened in the background now uh, in fact actually power bi incremental refresh configuration window will notify you if you are kind of setting up a re incremental refresh and uh, query folding wasn't achieved in the background now why why it will notify you because uh, if the query folding wasn't happened in the background and we are setting up an incremental refresh then whenever we will hit refresh actually the background that power bi mashup engine would have to require retrieve all the source rows and then it will be able to apply filters to determine the incremental changes so in case query folding would have worked then it would have applied a filter direct, directly on the source data and it would have bringed only the latest data or based on the parameters that we have passed for the incremental refresh all right so now why like why it is important and why it make it efficient so whenever we are doing any transformations in power bi power bi writes all, everything all the transformations in sql transactions and that is being recorded and saved within power bi now anytime when we hit a refresh those SQL statements get executes in the background and that actually retrieves the data from the data source. And that's why it become efficient if query folding has had worked in the background. So in case it haven't worked, then it will take time to refresh data and it will take time to, you know, refresh our model. And obviously the report performance is going to be the poor. Now uh, let's jump on a Power BI report now and uh, let's see in practical where we can see that query folding happening and how can we explore it. So let me connect with the data source first. All right, and let me take the database name. I'll copy and paste. Keep it as import mode as of now. And let it load. Okay. Now let me select, uh, all right, let's select these two tables. So one says a dim product category and another one is product subcategory. So I'll directly hit on transform and data. All right, so now at this point of time, we have just connected to our data source and we have brought this table. We haven't done any you know, transformations in this transformation tab, right? And at this point of time, if I go ahead and click on this navigation and if I right click on it, I will be able to see an option that says a view a native query. And if I open it, I will see a select statement, right? So now this select statement is nothing but kind of a SQL statement, right? That is selecting all the columns from that particular table, right? And we, because we haven't done any modifications, it, it doesn't contain any modifications over here. Now uh, let's uh, do some transactions and uh, let me go ahead and for example, let's add an index column. All right, we have added an index column that has been added. Uh, okay, that has been added at the end where I had, you know, an active column. Now again, if I go ahead and click on this native query, you won't see that, right? because there are a couple of things that actually doesn't support and in like that that doesn't support query folding so which are those things so let's first take a look on them as well so whenever we are doing this like doing these transformations in power bi so there are a couple of things for example merging queries based on different data source so if you are merging queries from the same data source, it will work. However, when it comes to merging queries from different data source, it won't work. Same goes with appending. If it, if it is from a different data source, it won't work. But in case of the same data source, it is going to like, it will be working. Also, when it comes to adding columns with complex logic and uh, it won't work because complex logic might implies to use the M functions that have no equivalent functions or a data source. And that's why uh, it won't work, right? Similarly, if, for example, uh, 
following expressions format the order date column value to return as a text value so for example if you are changing an order date like as a date value to a text sometimes it might not work similarly adding an index column it won't work uh, just we saw that right also changing a column data type changing a column data type so again sometimes it might work sometimes it not work depending upon the situation or depending upon what are rest of the transactions that you have done so far in power bi all right so as of now i'll go ahead and delete this transaction so that we can as of now we see that this query folding is happening now uh, for example let's do some filtration i want to see only you know products with the product category key as four again if i go ahead and click on this i will be able to see the native query and here you can see it has applied a where condition where it says product category key equals to four so similarly whatever transactions we do everything is you know getting recorded in terms of this query folding and you know however there are some point of time where it doesn't but still we will be able to see that uh, you know within power query so for example let me uh, again delete this transaction and do some more transactions i'll go to the transformation and let's go on home click on merge queries now what I'm going to do, I'm going to join these two tables. So it has selected dim product category. I'll select dim product subcategory. And let's join them on product category key and product category key. All right. Now it is joined at created a new table. If I go ahead and look in the native query, it doesn't show it. Right. So there could be a possible reason they are from the same data source but it is not working but it's still what we can do if we go on view if you go on the tools and click on this and diagnose step so at this point of time if you don't see these steps over here you can go into the diagnosed steps like diagnostic options or you can go into this option directly from power bi uh, for example you can go into file and options so options and settings options and also you can find that option over here uh, let's find that diagnostics all right so that option is available over here or you can directly as we just opened it from here we can open it from here and uh, like we will be able to see that option. So as of now, I'll go ahead and click on diagnose step and click on diagnose step. Now, as soon as I'll click on it, it will actually create a new group of, you know, tables over here. Now, these are the detailed table. Now, what we are going to look at it is we will look at this source partitions. And if I go ahead and actually expand this diagnostics, and if we go ahead and look on this data source query now you will be able to see that it is actually writing sql queries in the background regardless we are able to see native queries in applied steps or not so you can see here you will be able to see all these sql statement which are being you know written in the background in power bi and whenever we hit data refresh these queries are executed in the background so that you know we can refresh data so if if it is happening in the background then data refresh will be you know faster it will you know give a faster performance to a data model but if it is not then it will return a slow performance so i hope uh, you have got a good understanding of uh, query folding in power bi and you have got an you know understanding how it works and uh, what is the importance of power like query folding in power bi so at this point of time if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments we can definitely talk about it and i can make a separate video on it if there is any confusion and if you like the content don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day